afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. John Michael Salvato speaking to you from our home in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. And I'm really excited about the opportunity to have you hear from Donald Adams, the creator of the Continuum of Sound technology and the Continuum of Sound product line from Zero Point, the Continuum of Life. So I'd like to uh, say welcome to everyone that's watching this video. Um, uh, my name is Don Adams, Donald Adams, and uh, I'm in Victoria. I'd like to thank uh, Diane Regan and Meek and the rest of the staff at Triangle Healing. You're watching this video because you've heard something about the magical, mysterious sound frequencies that I've created and developed. And um, Diane will be providing uh, those frequencies uh, to you. Uh, you can get them all from her. She's going to have her website set up. You can go and click and you know, try some free downloads, see that they work, and then if you want like the full versions, you can go ahead and get those. The purpose of this video is to help you get an idea as to what this is all about, um, the best way to explore it, the best way to use it, uh, give you a frame of reference so that you have a kind of a grasp on, on what you're getting into and, and how you're going to benefit from this and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, this is an ad hoc video. Um, I haven't really had much time to script anything out. Um, I'm not going to make a wonderful formal presentation. I'm pretty much going to shoot from the hip, give you what I've got. This is an information dump, a friendly hello, and it's enough information to get you up to speed. And at some points, we hope in the future, when I have more time and circumstances allow, we'll try to get you know perhaps better, more detailed instructional and you know information to you via this format. So bear with me. I'm bound to make some foibles. Uh, so first, I, my background is I have uh, an equivalency. I always get asked this, you know, who the heck am I and why do I think I can offer something? You know, am I a doctor of such and such? Um, no, I'm not a doctor. I have the rough equivalency of a uh, computing science associate's degree. Uh, I was one of the younger vendors at Microsoft, uh, Richmond. Uh, or sorry, Redmond HQ, uh, the campus there, and worked for a number of other companies. Um, most of it was like project management type stuff, uh, development, etc. cetera. Um, for probably about roughly two and a half decades, I've been very fortunate in that I've been reasonably mentored by some unknown and some known figures in alternative science and technology. I've been involved with a lot of um, I guess underground research rings. We did some really interesting stuff. Uh, and that would range from energy related experiences to math, science, um, consciousness type studies. Um, I've spent probably about two decades uh, studying exotics, exotic technology, um, and just, you know, kind of mind puzzlers on the edge. Really fascinated with altered states of consciousness not through drugs, but through legitimate means, in a way that was meant to improve people. Um, I g was dissatisfied with the corporate environment, generally. Uh, I was compensated reasonably well, and I did the conventional sort of nine to five thing. And um, I think it's a fantastic arena to be in, but it, it didn't suit me. Uh, something was missing, and I needed to get out. So I, seven years ago, um, left uh, the job, so to speak, and had enough money and savings. I took about a year off, and I did some tinkering with some stuff I'd been playing with. Had a few interesting experiences, and wanted to try to render this stuff uh, that I was going through in some kind of model. Um, and then I made a discovery, a mathematical discovery, that had to do with essentially the nature of consciousness and emotions, etc. And that led to the development of a software application, uh, the purpose of which was to allow for the modeling um, and you know, predict uh, predicting of individual and group behavior. Um, and a friend of mine suggested, well, you know, why don't you consider doing sort of the opposite? Why don't you take your data and see if you can uh, set it up so that it can be projected? The tool that I made was a receiver. I would be receiving information and then plotting it and trying to predict. And so 
he had suggested, why don't I try to um, actually, uh, you know, detail or model a certain kind of emotional or mental state and project it and see what would happen. And so, and so, and this is a project that's been going on for roughly about seven years. Um, and so last April, it's the year 2007, uh, last April, I was sitting down in front of my model and it's, it's, uh, it was, I guess, an invention, a device that I'd made. It had a number of different parts, hardware, software, uh, different kinds of paraphernalia. And I would frequently get sore feet. Um, I don't know exactly why, but for years, my feet would really ache. And it would be, it would come out of nowhere. Uh, it would be excruciating, deep, aching, throbbing. It would get to the point where I would almost literally have trouble standing. And really inconvenient. Um, and I tried different things for it. I mean, I'm a big believer in traditional Chinese medicine, and I would get you know varying degrees of relief from that, but it had never gone away. And so one day, in the afternoon, um, I analyzed the state that I would typically be in when my feet were sore. And I looked at the data. It was all numeric series, or representational, and I wondered to myself, what would happen if I created a kind of antidote for my sore feet based on the data that I was seeing, and then I converted it into sound waves? Um, would anything, you know, would I notice anything? And so I spent a few days, and I, uh, I did that. I figured out a way to convert all this data to sound, and I played it back, and it was a very primitive uh, sound uh, playback system and so it didn't sound very great. It was like a bunch of chunky beeps and bops and bloops and stuff. And yet I played it. I let it play for about three hours. And um, at the end of three hours, I noticed something really weird. And I'd forgotten about it. I had it playing. My neighbors probably wondered what the heck is that crazy guy doing now? And I went around my condo. I read a book, went to the bathroom, lied down. I wasn't standing around too much because my feet were really sore. And at the end of three hours, I began to notice a very strange, and I'm really noticing dramatically, uh, I mean, there was no way I could ignore it, a almost pleasant burning sensation in the center of my feet. And it was unlike anything I think I'd ever experienced before. And it felt as though it might have been ball-shaped, like this pulsating, warm energy. And it began to expand in the center of my feet. And I, I got up and I walked around and it felt like whatever this thing was, was growing. And then it felt like the pain that was in my feet, it was as if something was uncurling. It was as if it was like literally from the center of my foot curling outwards and I could feel the pain moving to the outer perimeter of my foot. And then it would just, it hung there for a little while and then it just folded out. And that was last April. I've had sore feet for a long time. I mean, for, I mean, on and off, probably about eight to 10 years. And I haven't had sore feet since. Um, and that was a real mind blower. So I thought, Eureka, something really bizarre is going on here. And I don't have an immediate frame of reference for this. I need to find out what the heck just happened. And so, and so I, uh, contacted some people in some different alternative tech health uh, online forums and I said, listen man, got this weird phenomena going on. I'd really like to get some volunteers and get some data. I'm willing to share you know, some big chunks of my work with you if you can just like try this out and tell me what you experience. And so probably within a couple of days, I very fortunately ended up with about 47 people um, that just went into the news group and I cranked out a bunch of different frequencies and I told them, I said, look, this is all experimental, which it, is, which it was and is. And I said, you know, I'm not making any guarantees because, I mean, I, you know, I'm just testing this stuff out. Um, can try this and get back to me. And so basically what happened was, and these were people that were, some of them were, you know, health professionals. I mean, we had like, you know, some, I think it was like alt health shop owner type people. There was like, uh, you know, masseuses and Reiki practitioners and 
I think, retired nurses, um, et cetera, et cetera. And so they started to experiment with this stuff, and um, they started to write in about their experiences. And I didn't always tell them, you know, explicitly what they should expect. In fact, I very rarely, I, uh, my, my point was, look, here's a frequency. I think this is what you can generally expect. You tell me what happens. Uh, and in other cases, I'd release a frequency and I really wouldn't say much about it at all. And so the accounts and reports started flooding in and I was getting really intense, uh, dramatic feedback of shock, surprise, wonderment, very, very happy uh, people that had long-term acute serious problems that afflicted them on an emotional, mental, physical basis were writing in and saying, what in the heck is going on here? How can this be happening? Um, and so, I mean, I'm, I'm skipping over a lot of details at the moment. I'll try to come back to some of this stuff. But skipping forward from April, um, in the last two months, it's now November 28th. Is it November 28th now? Yeah. So, so I think roughly in the last two months, uh, I put up a, just a really ad hoc El Cheapo download site, freebie download site. Like I just put some files up there, like demo files. And in the last two months, we've probably had about 12,000 downloads of these frequencies. We've jumped from 47 people in our membership to around 300. Uh, there's been two doctors that have, if I understand correctly, they've endorsed this. I've had um, inquiries from various deans of chiropractic colleges. Um, and I've, I've had probably about 30, I don't know, I think between two, somewhere between 20 to 30 volunteers step forward uh, just to help get everything together, to help people like you that are watching this video. I don't have the time. I'm not a business guy. I'm not a marketer. I do research. I've been hiding out for the last seven years in my little research cave, not talking to people much about what I've been doing. And this kind of constitutes, I guess, I suppose, me coming out and finally sharing a chunk of my work with uh, you folks. And I guess when I started to share this around, the people that were uh, using these things were so happy about the benefits that they were getting and excited about getting this technology out there that they just stepped forward. I had one lady, and this is just an example, but I had one lady, I think she spent, Joanne Scalise, uh, she spent something like 48 hours or something, just doing a neat little, she calls it a viral video, some kind of little video with my voice thing on it that people can watch. And it's another really cool uh, member, I don't know her name, but she goes by Panther Chick. Panther Chick, thank you, um, you're fantastic. Uh, Panther Chick went through the entire forum and collected every single post and organized it and put it into Word documents for people to download. And this has been going on. Dr. Richard Cracknell, thank you. Uh, Inya, thank you. Uh, Sega, thank you. Uh, Rob, you're fantastic. These people all step forward and I've probably had, I don't know, maybe like a hundred or more hours of just help putting stuff together.